Well, um, okay, so if I recall correctly, um, we met Kill. We had <coughs> just gotten uh, done fighting those people in the, the big room, and we looted the shit out of their corpses, and then we moved downwards into, or not upwards, in northwards, <laughs> into the library. Not library, hallway. <laughs> We moved we, into the hall, well, that hallway. We found some crystals. We were like, Zeke was like, let me mine these crystals indefinitely. And I sent my spectral mind thingy forward <laughs> to like scout ahead uh, because I remembered that I could do that for like two levels now. Um, and then we went into that big room with all the sarcophagi. Um, there was those creepy crystal thingies that had like six legs that made me very uncomfortable and I thought they were spiders. Uh, and then there were big, like, undead giants? Were they undead? <clears throat> they were undead. They were part dragon, not giant. They were, they were, they were like they were part dragon Frankenstein. Yes. Dragon Frankenstein is a great way to describe that. Okay, yeah, mm. that. Um, and sure. we fought Dark them, form. got got that all done, uh, and then we continued to go forward and then I believe we, like, found the connection um, back to where we were before, and we opened up a new door, and we opened it up onto something. I don't remember quite what it was. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, you were able to open the door. Uh, as I described the room as if it had been torn apart from the floor up, as if something massive had dug its way up from the ground uh, with loose rocks and water. Uh, our good friend Kill looked up at the ceiling to see something red and viscous dripping down. Uh, and Cutlass, what was your uh, what was your uh, 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 vocalization? I believe you you had said something at the end. When you saw this thing, it was something along the lines of fuck. I think it was like, oh shit, or oh, shit, fuck, or fuck something. Off. Yeah, yeah. Or all of them combined together. It was, it was an amalgamation. <laughs> Excellent. Could everyone please roll initiative for me? I could. Is, is the music on? There it yes. goes. Yes. I can also just uh, watch the red pudding eat somebody. That's true. If you would like to remain outside of combat, you can just not roll. It does mean that you won't be able to react in combat, but, you know, do whatever you'd like. Remember to roll initiative. You have to click your token and then click the word initiative on your character sheet. Okay. Got it. Wait, am I... Hold on. Hey, you're at the front line. Switch. Apologies. Let's see. All good. And then initiative. Boom! Excellent work. Sent right to the turner. Okay, one, two, three, four players. I'm missing my wizard. There's our wizard. Alrighty. As combat breaks out, you say, oh shit, oh fuck, which is the universal translation for Panas ever get in here, I need help. Thankfully, she does understand, and being a very quick to react gal, is going to run into the room. Uh, she can't yell duck, so she does just try and shoot past you twice with her hand crossbow. Uh, and an 11 Whoa. and a 12 are both going to miss, as she had to aim far too high over you to uh, uh, not hit you. Uh, and she'll use the last 10 feet of her movement to back up even a little bit further down the hallway, seeing that this thing is kind of slimy looking. You guys all get a better glance at this strange, almost scaly looking slime as it moves towards our uh, good, good friend, uh, Cutlass, Mr. Kill. Reaching out for a handshake. Ow. Uh, oh god, I hope not. Center. Let's go. With this. Okay. Uh, a thirty-foot cone is going to come blasting out of the doorway from this thing. Zeke, 
Kill and Sheree need to make me dexterity saving throws. I believe I have advantage because danger hints. Yep, that would <clears throat> make sense. Dexterity on the left, box, right? Yeah, it's a box near the top. It's separate from I your see. regular abilities. It says saving throws at the bottom. Do I do it just at dan uh, normal or disadvantage? You just do it at normal. Cool. Okay, uh, Kill and Zeke are going to save. Kill, do you have evasion at this level? Level 7? I think, think so. I think level 7 is when you get evasion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Evasion, where do I see that in my skills? Uh, yeah, in your, in your features. Class it features. would be near the bottom. Yeah, bottom near right. Near the bottom, bottom right. Yeah, uh, evasion, yes evasion. I do. Okay. Yep. So if you click the little speech bubble, it'll put it in chat as well. Cool. So on a successful save, when you would take half damage, you instead take no damage. So you, despite being the closest, are able to completely evade this attack. Zeke, Just you are going to take, of it. Zeke, you're going to take half damage. Shuri, you're going to take full and also be pulled 30 feet closer to this thing. Just slam into the fucking wall. Yes. Uh, okay, so Zeke, for you, that is Christ. 11 acid damage. Cherie, that is 23. Fucking die. And kill, you take nothing. You Shut are... Up. Close the damn door! You are pulled here, and then it's... Uh, seeing that you dodged it, it's going to make a pseudopod attack against you, Cutlass. A, a kind of tendril sort of snakes towards your foot, and then instantly seems to thicken, and very quickly tries to wrap up your leg. Does a 13 hit your AC? Let's see, hold on. 13, I have 15. Okay, that will miss. You take no damage as it misses you. And we will nice. go to your turn. Fucking gross. Jesus. Um, so... Alright. Uh... Damn, this is, this is weird. I don't know what the fuck to do. I so, want to kind of move away. I want to hide. Can I hide? You can hide, but you are face to face with this thing. So if you would like I to am. hide, I would suggest utilizing your um your specific subclass rogue abilities. At uh you have an ability called fancy footwork, which I just opened on your character sheet. If you make yep, an attack against footwork. a creature, then it can't make an attack of opportunity against you. So if you just try and hit this thing with your action, you can walk away from it without incurring any damage or any other attacks. Got it, got it. Alright, so I can just hit him with my short sword. And it, 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 it'll make it so that way I don't get any damage returned to me, or he can't ta attack me back afterwards. Yes, and then you can move away and try and hide for with your movement and bonus action. Alright, cool, cool. Otherwise, you would have had to disengage as well. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not to say. So I can... I smack him with my short sword. I try. Alright, let's see. Uh, an 11 is going to miss. You do hit it, but your blade just sort of blocks and bounces back does towards it, you. Doesn't it's, like, it's like striking a baseball bat against a basketball. Uh, I can't remember if somebody still had my inspiration on them. Did they give it to somebody still? Your or what? Used? I thought I'd give an inspiration to somebody. It was either the rogue or the, the barbarian. I believe... I Kill already used his inspiration. Okay, cool. Session. Uh, that's uh, yeah, that was I could remember. It's been a while. Yeah. No worries. Uh, okay, you've made your attack. You've missed, but it, it you do have very, very fancy footwork. Where would you like to move? I assume away. Yeah, anywhere else but here. Can I, like, hike into the... Hold on. You can hold move. on. How do I draw again? Uh, there's the ruler tool. Measure. Oh, yeah, ruler right. tool. So that's still a cone. So you have 30 feet, so you can go where I'm going, uh, basically. And then, like, okay, so how about I just make my way to the back of the room over right here? Okay. Alright, hold on, yeah, I can select it again. Alright, yeah, so I make my way to the, all the way to the back. Yeah. Okay. All the way to the back. And that, that that's me right there. Okay. Right there. Right there. 
Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Is that going to be you? That's it. Alrighty. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Uh, Zashi. Okay, bonus action, gonna move my spectral mind, because, uh, okay. I didn't do that earlier. What's its speed? 30 feet. Okay. Fierce. Then, I'm gonna... Fuck, I still can't see the damn thing. It's a little tight in here. Could drop an AOE in the room. Alrighty. Now. Alright, now <clears throat> I'm gonna... I promise I'm doing stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna drop a uh, flaming sphere in there. How's that? Hmm? I have created a fireball for you. Good. Okay, you create the fire, the uh, paste the spell for me. Excellent. You conjure it as an action. Your, um. Oh wait, I uh, I wanted to not outside of the door, uh, inside of the door, in the room on him. Okay. I think it has to be in an unoccupied space. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoops. Space. Never mind. Like yes. Here or here. It has to be a spot she can see, so it has to be somewhere that she can. Ah oh, okay. Can you not see behind it? Or like next to it? Um I think yeah, I I, I can see a sl there. Right there. Cool. Alright. Uh do you want to move any further? That's your action and your bonus action. Nope, that's out. Alright, Zeke. Uh, I'm going to rush forward <laughs> and close the door. Okay. Sort of elbow Shuri out of the way. And grab the door, close it, and hold it there. <laughs> okay, you gotta move into the space to be able to reach the Alright. Um I guess would I be able to shove Shuri and also Not close and the door? brace the door. If you're going to use your action yeah. to brace the door, then that's your action. If you wanted to use your action to move another player character then you can close the door regardless either way, but Alright. Um would I be able to hold my action to brace no. the... Okay. Not and move her. Okay. No, I was going to say, could I hold my action to brace the door when she moves? Can I, Zeke I don't get, Can Zeke get so to the door from there? Yeah, yeah you can step here. You, that's you what he was asking. Here. He was asking if he had to shove Cherie to get to the door. No, right? I was... I was I was asking whether um, I could wait till after Sheree moves to brace the door. I don't understand the benefit of that, but you could delay bracing the door if you want. But you can't move after your turn. Okay. Um, you need to be in the square that Kill was in to be able. To so essentially, this is unfortunately not really going to work. Well, uh, um, again, there's a space next to her that. Kill was occupying. That is the place that you need to be to brace the door. Oh, Three yeah, can't even touch the door. Oh, sorry. No. I'll move through. Sorry. I was yeah. under the impression the door was no. here for some reason. Nope. In which it's case, where I will the move. icon is. Yeah, I will move through Shree <laughs> and brace the door. <laughs> Excellent. You use your action to brace the door. If anything attempts to break that door down, it will be a contested strength check. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have anything you want to do as a bonus action? Um, no. I don't have any rages or anything, so... Alrighty. Oh, that's unfortunate. Lucelle! 
Well, shit. I got no more spells to heal people with. And I don't think I have... Oh, it's in the back. I don't have any potions in there. Sashi, did you use the sphere when you conjured it? No, she had previously used her bonus action. Uh, Lucelle? What do you checking. want to do? Uh, see, I was just double checking to make sure we had any potions in that bag. We do not. Uh, Lucelle dives past Cherie and look, just looks down the hallway. Uh, Both door. Yep. Well, I can't shoot it. Uh, I'm going to go over here. Uh, if anybody has any healing potions, please give them to me. I can get. We gotta get. We gotta help out Sheree. She got hit hard, and then that's it for her. Alrighty, Sheree. Yeah, I'm going this way. <laughs> Just getting the fuck out of the room and dashing sure. a little bit. That is me. Alrighty. Uh, Panda's ever will cock a, a, and reload her, um, hand crossbows in the event that something tries to break down, uh, or come through the door. Uh, the slime, the ooze, I should say. Uh, Zeke, you feel pressure on the other side of the door. You automatically succeed on what you think is a contested strength check as it presses itself against the door. Mm -hmm. And then your hands and feet begin to feel wet. You look down and you watch as it is seeping through the very narrow gap where this old wooden door meets the ah, so stone, like set together blocks as it seeps underneath you. Occupying underneath that square, and a pair of pseudopods try and reach up and wrap themselves around. You. Uh, that is a twenty and a nineteen. Yeah, both. All righty. Yeah, you are not raging. Are you? No. Okay. Uh, do you want just the toll total? Yeah. Or do you want it in piecemeal? Okay. Uh, that's going to be. Jesus. That's going to be 32 damage, bludgeoning an acid. Zeke is not looking so good. Yeah. Uh, Kill, you turn around, you can see that Zeke is trying to hold this door, but there are like some kind of acidic ooze coming under it. The door is actually starting to dissolve as he's holding it. It is seeming to slow this thing, but it is not stopping it by any means. It's starting to engulf Zeke's legs. Right. Okay. Um, question. Because I do remember us grabbing the healing ointment. Yes. Uh, I don't know how many turn, uh, how many more uh, uh, heals I have on this thing. How do I check that? You should... I believe we set up a tracker on your sheet for it. Uh, where is that tracker? It's so you see where it. it says breath, weapon, chromatic wording, arrows underneath your short... Oh, it's on the... Vision, fancy footwork, and then what up, was it? Above, above that. Above the big box roll your feet are in. There's You have four trackers that are built. They're on oh, your I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so easiest way. So there's two people that are hurting our party right now. How do I How do I fix that? How do I go over there? Can, can I go over there to Zeke, slap the ointment on him, and then Absolutely. still have enough room? To, to, to run over to Sashi? Uh, so, you would need to move into that. melee with Zeke, so you'd need to use 20 feet of your move. From there, you could run back the last 10 feet and get next to Sashi. But it would take Wait. your action. It would, yeah. Was it Sashi that was hurt? Who, who was no, hurt? It was Zeke. Zeke Yeah. But it oh, is your Zeke action too. to apply this one. Okay, so I can. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my move to Zeke. I'm gonna move all the way to Zeke right here. 
Yeah. All right. Oh, out of the room. Oh, just go back. Nope, nope, nope. Here we go. Come on. All right, cool. Move them here. All right. Then I go to Zeke. I'm like, yo, you're going to need some of this. And I use the ointment oh, on shit. Zeke. Uh, okay, you gr dip your hand in, slather it on the back of, of Zeke's leg, just above where this thing is, like, burning into him. How much you got? Uh, 2d8 plus 2 per action. Uh, roll me 2d8, uh, kill. 2d8. Do I do it from the page, or do I just roll it from the, uh, the thing? Whatever is easier. Uh, probably the, the dice thing. Roll to be the easiest. 2d8. Alright, 14 hit points. Very nice. That is more than I had, my bet. Thank you kindly. Here you go, you we got two more shots. Yeah, so can I make the rest of my move to go to the corner? How much you more can. feet do I have, Ten. You have ten. You have ten more feet of movement, so you can go right, cool. this far. Alright, so I'm gonna end up right here. All right, as you move, a pseudopod streaks out and tries to grab onto you, but a 14 will miss. You said your AC was 15? Yep. AC 15. Very nice. <clears throat> hey, uh, Zashi. Uh, yeah? For no reason, could you give me what the damage would be for your fire if something were in it? Ah, <laughs> uh, three big ones. Ooh. I think you could also use your bonus action to ram it. Even though yeah, that, 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 that was my plan. Yeah. All right, it is your turn, Zashi. Okay, um, I'm gonna... I know for a fact that if I move it towards me, it'll hit something. So I move it ten feet towards me. Okay. It doing so, it rams it. Yeah. Yes, it rams into uh, the creature. Uh, the creature makes a saving throw. Dexterity. Three. Bam. Four big ones. Take that, bitch. Okay. It is resistant and will take two Plot big, big one. ones. That is your bonus action. I know it sucks, is it, doesn't it? Um. Ah. Uh, um. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. Um. Uh, am I recognizing this creature at all? You can try. Right. Give me a nature or an arcana. Would that be an action? No. no. This is a passive check. Call it. How very Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Was, did you say Arcana? Uh, nature or Arcana, yes. Uh, you definitely would recognize an ooze when you see one. However, this one strikes a particular chord. You uh, remember some band research that you learned about in one of the many topics of band magics that... Uh, 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 scatter the different colleges of Fane Rune, uh, experimenting with oozes, specifically the use of dragon blood mi to mix with oozes, is very frowned upon. Jesus. Dragon uh, blood oozes dragon have I very good elemental resistance, as well as being quite dangerous. Okay. Their ability to spray slime breath like a dragon is one of their most dangerous abilities. They, they usually, usually uh, are able to multiply at a faster, faster rate than a normal ooze and are rarely, rarely found alone. All right, I want to run up and try and um, pull Zeke away. Okay. Zeke, I'm sorry, I might have to touch you. <laughs> Uh, contested as situation. I'm I'm res I'm not resisting. 
Yeah, uh, 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 give me an athletics check. Once, once per session reroll. Fuck! Does anyone want to donate their once per session? Sure. Yer. An 18 will succeed. You pull Zeke out into the square next to you with a wet sucking sound. He is no longer grappled. I did not okay. know I was grappled. Oh, did I not mention? <laughs> no. I don't oh. believe so. What? You said that the, you said the tendrils came up from the door, but that was that was it. Yeah, and then I, I missed them when I went to heal him. I guess this is a lot, but as as that happens, I'm like, don't go in it. <laughs> And that's I, believe, my turn. I believe it's used its um, reaction, so you could yeah, run you away. Yeah, you can move away. Oh, oh shit, so yeah, that's, okay. That's let me swang, let me move away then. Swang it, it kill. So you did 15, you got 15 feet more, I think. Work. Excellent. Zeke! Alrighty. These um, things hurt quite a bit. Yeah. I want to... Give it a couple what four swings with the with the sword because I don't want to touch this with my hands. That's smart. I'm really wow. I'm really impressed. Uh, you might not think of that if he was raging, but he is thinking about it now. Hell yeah. Um, the I wouldn't have a chance. I wouldn't have had a chance to uh, attune to the magic sword, right? Uh, it's not been an out well how did you guys take a short rest after no, fighting the big no, no you no, haven't no. taken a short rest since so I, we Actually. I wish we had so swing 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 both of those are going to hit uh no oh. rage damage right no just yes the, no rage damage just, just 18. 18 uh you chop into this thing and are thankful to see that slashing damage does uh, uh, seem to fully affect this creature, which splits and bleeds as if it had veins and flesh rather than ooze. It's as if it is mimicking life. <sighs> Cotton seems to work. I ain't gonna stick around though. And then I'm gonna move uh, back here. Let me just make sure I've got all my movement right. Yeah, he got pulled back to that spot, so that's just 15. That's that's, five, that's 10 feet, 15 feet. <laughs> I know, but I had to move back in to uh, five, attack. 10. Um, it's still yeah, 15. I'll, that's plenty enough. Um, I'll, I'll move here. Alrighty. Oh, then... Yeah, just on the other side of the store. Okay, then we'll go to Lucelle. Uh, Lucelle... Is going to take her, uh, her, um, what's it called? The, the cinder petal solution that we got from the alchemy for uh -huh. alchemy gifts, and she's gonna spike it on the floor at the, uh, at the ooze. Okay. She's still flying. You use your action to pour, to pour it on this yeah. square, <laughs> essentially. All right, it is now. Uh, on fire, you see that the classic alchemist's fire uh, roars up in a brilliant pink and orange hue. Okay, and then she looks back and says, I ain't got nothing left for healing. I need to get the fuck out of here right now. I can't fight this thing. I can't fight Give this thing. Give me a out. D4. Heard. Uh, D4. Boop. Ah. And she all right. flies. Hey, with, a, uh, with a one, it can't be reduced at all. <laughs> Okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, 30. Actually, she's gonna put that there. To the right side. Alrighty. That's it for me. Cherie! I ready a fucking frostbolt, or <laughs> frostbolt, but if I see the fucking slime, ray of frost. Ray of frost if you see the slime. Anything mm -hmm. else? Nope. I am way too fucking hurt. Okay, uh, Panzever steps back in the room, uh, she's going to make eye contact with Zeke and then give Kill a shove in the, uh, uh, in the direction that Lucelle just ran, um, and she's gonna fire her crossbow one-handed as she moves. Nice. Oh, yes! Oh. No sneak attack, unfortunately, but that is going to be 
uh, 713 damage to this thing. Uh, which doesn't seem too happy about it, and actually is bloodied by that shot. Nice. I think we're um, all a little gonna, out of juice. Just cut this thing. She's gonna dash with a bonus action this way. Uh, and then we're going to go to this creature, which is going to move into the room. <laughs> Uh, and it's going to make a pair of pseudopod attack. Actually, well, let's roll a d6 first, shall we? Nope. Since I Damn can't it. see it. Uh, oh, yes, it. please. <coughs> 23 is definitely going to hit. Reduce its speed. Oh. All right. It is only going to take four cold, as it is resistance, but it is slow. And we'll say that that's why it stops right there and makes a pseudopod attack against... <laughs> Kill and Zeke. A 10 will miss kill. A 12 will miss Zeke. Uh huh. Uh, Mr. Kill. Alright, I have another question because I, I realized I could do something else. Uh, my breast weapon. How the yes. hell do I use that? That's a, it's an action to do it. Um, you basically just state you're gonna exhale it. You tell me the direction that you're going to do it. Um, based on your type of, uh, like exhale it will either be a line or a cone uh 30 foot line that is five feet wide you are your what color you're a red dragon a red dragon yeah so it would, be, it would be fire you could just blast this thing if you like however zashi has said that the, the they are resistant to elemental damage to, to elemental damage yeah it's yes. dragon blood and all that good stuff now right, if you uh, just swinging at it if you do hit yeah. because Zeke is near it, you would get sneak attack. Okay, I forgot about that. All right, all right. Yeah. So there are a bunch of different you... like things that give you sneak attack. All right. So like am, I'm in I'm in sneak attack range right now, right? Since you're in melee range, yes. Is, or melee range, and I can also sneak attack. Right. You can sneak attack, yes, because one of the conditions are met. Currently, you have an ally within five feet of it. You need a body right. next to it, or you need advantage. Or, if uh, because of the type of rogue you are, you need to be alone fighting it, and it needs to also be alone. Gotcha. Yeah, but it's not alone. Alright, so I can mark off the sneak attack here, and then mm -hmm. use my dagger. Or, not my uh, dagger, my short sword. You short sword, yeah. Alright. Swing for the hills. It. Oh, an 8 is oh not going God. to do it. Would Perception. you like to use your bonus action to make an offhand attack with your dagger? Yeah, let me, okay. let me use the bonus action for the dagger. Let's see. Okay. Alright. A 14 is going to hit, and you still get sneak attack. We just have to take your dexterity out of it. Gotcha. Alright, roll damage for dagger. You just click the word dagger in the chat. Make sure the sneak Here attack is checked. Oh, sneak attack check. Was, oh, hold on. Really. Oh, yeah, you, you had it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, oh, cool. Okay. 317. Three. Very nice. You uh, miss with the first short today. It bounces off again. But then with a smaller weapon, you stab out and pierce into this thing. And a gigantic gush of very liquidy gel sprays out over your arms and hands, stinging slightly. As you puncture this thing like a balloon, and it begins to deflate rapidly. It is about half, approaching a third of the size it was previously. I'm genuinely hating this place right now. Very much yes. hating this place. Do not like this place at all. Uh, and you can still move. Use your movement to walk away because you attacked it. Uh, I would like to retreat back into this hallway over here in the back. You can do uh, wherever feet? you want. Most of your party is to the north. I don't know if this, this thing is still alive. So there we go. That, that's me right there. Okay. Uh, you actually, I, I believe, are the only person that has a view of this, uh, Mr. Kill, as through the door comes a bubbling of a second one of these shapes. I need another 2d6 yeah. from Yuzashi as this thing stops yeah. within five feet of your uh, aura. So you see a second dragon blood ooze coming through the door. The, uh, 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 kill. God damn it. Hey, Nate. 
Yes. Did the uh, alchemist fire get consumed by the dragon, um, by the ooze, or is it still burning too? It's still burning. This one is burning. It will take okay. damage at the start of its turns. Heard. Thank you. It also took the d4 that you did to it. Um, That's that thing. Zashi! Oh, you yeah. can just barely see the second one, I think. Um, okay. Uh, hoo ha ha. I do actually want to Witch Bolt the one closest to me. You will lose your... Yeah, I'll lose my thing. Okay. Which, Which one, one are you... Th okay, this one. All right. Cast uh, it. Roll it. Uh, might, might I make a suggestion? No, thank you. All right. <laughs> An 11 is not going to hit. Darn. Are you good where you are? Bonus action. Movement. Um, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Zeke. Alright, um... I can't see the other one has... Oh. I guess, Kill, have you shouted out that there's another one? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, um, guys, uh, it looks like it just made a friend in the back room again. Uh, sorry. <laughs> looks like I'm gonna be here for a while. I think we're out of juice. Let's just cut these things best we can. I'll meet you around the other side. And I will take two great swords at the one that's right there. 15 will hit. Seven is not going to hit. Four and oh, really seven hard. nearly killing this thing. It, uh, uh, it jiggles like jelly on fucking Thanksgiving Day. You you would need a but a spoon to kill this thing. And then I will close this door so that it does not get an opportunity attack and run away. Unfortunately, because of blind sight and pseudopod and amorphous, it definitely still gets an opportunity attack on you as you run away. Through, through the door? Underneath the door. It is not restricted by spaces as narrow as one inch wide. And it has a reach of 10 feet. And it has blind sight. Oh, it adds to like squeeze. Feet. And shit nope. through that with, uh... with it specifically says without squeezing yeah okay but Jeez. that is only an 11 yeah no, I believe that is still good for you yeah Fucking I love good. oozes they break all the rules they do they love they love getting in people's <laughs> squares they love grappling on just an attack they love it they love breaking the game the orifices too all right what is that you, you? <laughs> yeah, God damn. Uh, Zeke fast. Okay, uh, Kill, you saw that door close and you heard running feet. And then you did not hear them anymore. He is gone. Lucelle. He is gone. Lucelle looks over into the room. Where's the door? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, and she casts, uh, she's like, okay, attack damage for most elemental attacks is radiant damage elemental. Also, she tries to, she wants to try to remember things she knows about the ooze from her, her knowledge of nature. So, first sure. nature check 12. You have no and idea. And then, yep, nothing. Besides, I guess, besides pieces. Besides what Zashi already told you. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No information. Let's see here. And where is it? Sacred Flame. Boot. Uh, dexterity. That is a 15. Uh, I think it succeeds because mine no is 15. Yep. Damage. Okay. No damage. All right. Is that you? Good. That is it. You're good where you are? Mm, oh, uh, no. She's going to. Where is Cherie? Oh, she's way back there. Okay. Yeah, she's also going to fly to one of these alcoves. 5, 10, 10, 20, 25. Okay. Cherie. Uh, we're just going to keep peppering it with frost. Okay. Keeping it slow. Oh. 12 is not going to hit, unfortunately. Should we just run into the north? I'm hurt, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, alright, is that you? Mm -hmm. Uh, Panzer steps into the door and she'll fire crossbow. Seven pierces it and it sploshes, extinguishing the uh, uh, alchemist fire as it dies. Um. She can't yell. She can't tell people what to do. So she's just gonna stay over here by the doorway. She can't see into the room from out there. 
Mr. Kill. All right. Cool. Um, I would like, because everyone is over here in this this north area, right? <laughs> Everyone's in the north, except one. Yeah. Uh, except for except for Z. Uh, I'm gonna step out slightly and look to see if it's dead or not. Right. You see that one is definitely dead. Okay, and then can I shoot over the dead one to hit the other one behind it? Absolutely, you can. Uh, hold on. Do I? If you want uh, to, I'm probably want to hide first. 